two, three, fuck it. So today I'm talking about how my life has changed since having Oscar and how it would affect any other person. I just thought I would explain to you everything that has changed in my life or the majority of things. I have done a video very similar to this and I'm probably going to cross points quite a few times so I'm really sorry if this is like a repetitive video from that. I just thought I would do this because I have had a lot of people like either comment on my videos or DM me saying that they want a kid with their partner and they want a child and they're quite similar ages to me sometimes a bit older sometimes a bit younger and I just wanted to get this out here so that everybody kind of knows what they're getting themselves into when having a child so I'm not gonna ramble on too much and I'm just gonna get started into the video So the first thing I want to talk about is friendships. Now I feel like this is a very hit or miss kind of scenario or case. Personally with me, I kind of lost the majority of my friends when I was pregnant or after pre being pregnant or just stuff like that. Not many people wanted to be associated with me or to kind of know me in all fairness, which is obviously their, their opinion on that. And I I'm not gonna make someone my friend if they don't wanna be my friend. For me, friends are supposed to be there off their own back. And if it's forced, it's not, you don't get the same feeling with like fake friends as you do with real friends so I personally did lose all of my friends because it's not that it's not the fact that we had arguments and they literally just ditched me or anything it was nothing like that it was just we kind of lost communication in the all the mix we just wasn't talking as much and from me being pregnant to now I kind of don't have anybody to talk to really. I don't, I don't really associate with anybody from like my past I guess and that's kind of really upsetting because y I don't have the support from friends that I would have. As I said a minute ago it just depends on the case because I know some people are mums at like this age and all their friends are still stuck by them and it's really just the friends you have and their opinions on the matter because some people will stay with you the rest of your life, some people won't and You've just got to take it as it comes, I guess. But I personally did lose a lot of friends when I got pregnant. Whether that was because I was pregnant or whether it was because I just didn't have any time free or anything like that, I don't know. But I don't... I lost my friends. <laughs> the second thing I want to talk about is lack of sleep and lack of energy. So obviously when you have a baby, you have to be... Even during your pregnancy, you are basically up all night or well not everybody I personally suffered with pregnancy insomnia insomnia or something like that I don't really know but that just means lack of sleep when you're pregnant and like you just can't get to sleep so I was literally like waking up at like 7 a.m in the morning and going to sleep at like 4 a.m like I literally had like three hours of sleep every day because I just couldn't get to sleep at all so I'd have to take naps during the day but then when your child's here obviously you can really only sleep when they sleep so especially for the first three months I want to say when then class is still newborns you're up and down through the night you're up and down during the day so you usually have to sleep when your baby sleeps and this means that you don't have a lot of time for anything else because obviously you're probably waking up every two three hours during the night and then feeding it feeding your baby every two three hours during the day as well so it is very tiring and everything to have a baby and it does drain you physically and emotionally because you're just constantly you constantly have to be there for them because obviously they're a baby they can't do anything you have to feed them you have to change them you have to change their clothes you have to burp them you have to you have to do everything for them and as well as that is the best thing ever because you get to see them grow and you get to have that, those special bonding moments. It also is at 16 years old and at any age really draining because you feel like you're constantly just having to make them happy and you don't have time for yourself but then as they get a little bit older that becomes a they become a bit more independent so now he's holding his bottles up so I don't need to constantly hold him and hold the bottle I have like my hands free more or less while he's being fed so it is very hard to have a baby and maintain everything in your your usual day to day life like there's a lot of things that I can't really do now that I could do because I just don't have the time to and that's completely okay because in a way I personally prefer spending time with him anyways but for some other teenagers, if you are pregnant or something, that that could be a big, a big shock and it could make other teenagers' mental health go down the hill rather than going up. But it just depends who you are and support you around you and stuff like that. The third thing I want to talk about is getting ready to go out takes so much longer. Like, I would say twice as long, but it's definitely more than that because it's not just you have to get dressed, get 
ready and go. You've literally got to get dressed, get ready, you've got to get your baby ready, you've got to probably maybe feed him, you've got to change his bum like three times before you go, you've got to get a bag ready, you've got to get them in a car seat, then you've got to put them in the car seat and strap them in so that they're okay and safe, and then you can go. And although that does sound quite easy, like getting a baby changed, putting stuff in a bag, trust me, the process of it does take a while because for getting ready, like putting stuff in a bag, you have to pre-make bottles and you have to pre-measure out the formula and then you have to put spare clothes in that are fitting them, then you've got to get some toys so that they're not Board, you've got to have spare dummies that are clean and it's just a huge mess to get ready and to go out so it does take so much longer than it originally should I guess. So the next thing I want to talk about is that I've learned to be so much more independent having a child. So obviously I am only 16 but with having a child it has learned it has taught me so much, so I'm now financially stable because I have to be. I'm mentally stable because obviously, not that I have to be, but it's just changed my life for the better. Um, and I have to do everything for him, so I have to wash up, I have to clean up, I have to make him dinner, I have to sterilise bottles, I have to measure out kettle water in bottles so that there's no infection. I have to change all his nappies, I have to bath him, I have to do everything for him. and. That has made me so much more independent because now if I can take after, if I can look after him, I can look after myself and now I'm not relying on anybody to do anything for me, I like to do everything myself. <coughs> because that's just the person I've became since having a child. <coughs> the next thing I want to talk about is although I said that you do lose friends, you also gain friends on the way. So whether this has been your pregnancy or when your child is growing, you still learn new people like more or less every day. There's always someone that has a kid at your age or has a kid a bit older but also wants to be friends because they want to have they want to have that communication and that um, that friendship, that bond that they can't really share with anybody else because they don't have a child this young. So although you do lose your friends that you were close to, you also gain a lot more friendships and these are the people that will probably stick with you throughout a lot more because they've been through the exact same process as you have having a kid and having to look after them so they know a lot more than you actually think they do but even, although you do lose friends you do also gain them on the way. In a way it's a win-win situation because you're not completely on your own but you do lose the friends that you were close to but you still gain them, you still gain some friends on the way. The next thing I want to talk about for myself personally that is that since having Oscar I have became so much more happy and mentally stable. Like before I even found out I was pregnant, I was in a really dark place and definitely not mentally stable. But ever since I've had time to myself, I guess, and thought about where I want to go from here, I've become a lot more stable and happy and I can finally see things just falling into place now. And that's, as I said, these are very hit or miss with everybody, like everybody's life is different but for me personally I became so much more better as a person and I'm really happy with the person I'm becoming right now like obviously people say that I'm a disappointment and a disgrace and everything because I have a child at 16 but even though I still have a child at 16 I can still do everything a normal 16 year old can do just nowhere near, nowhere near as much and I still have, and I just have the responsibility of my son which for me, personally, it's done me wonders, like having this time with, for myself with him is just making me grow so much and just to see him grow every day and his little smile just brings me so much joy and it's just made me, as I said, as a person, so much more happier. Also, in having a child, I have also gained so much more confidence in some aspects, but I've also lost confidence in other aspects. So. I've lost confidence in like stuff like my stomach because I've got stretch marks and I'm just not conf confident enough to go out we wearing anything showing my stomach just because of my stretch marks. But I've also gained a lot of confidence as in, I while I was pregnant I was really quite self-conscious and I was like, I don't want anyone to know I'm pregnant almost, like I, I can't imagine walking down the street with a baby, like what's everyone going to think? And now that he's here I literally couldn't give a shite about anyone's opinion, like Seeing him every day makes me the happiest person alive and taking him out places and letting him see everything is just it's just amazing. Like I can do so much more that, than I could before in a way. Like I was really self-conscious about my appearance as in like my face, my hair, my body, but now I just now I'm more open about it. Apart from I have lost confidence in my stomach, but 
Other than that, I've gained everything really, to be fair. And also, another thing is that you do lose a lot of money. Having a baby is not cheap. Having a baby is so expensive, honestly. Like, you might just think, oh yeah, I'll get one car and a couple of clothes every time, like, they grow. But honestly, they need so much more than that. Like, you have the cost of formula, of bottles, of dummies, if they have a dummy, obviously, because not always have dummies. What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> You have the cost of nappies, of wipes, of toys, of cloths to wipe their mouth and just all stuff like that like you do need a huge amount of money to have a child well not a huge amount obviously people make it work every single day with not a huge amount of money and I'm not like saying that I have a huge amount of money or anything like that I'm just saying that having a baby is a huge responsibility especially financially and luckily for me I was in a position that I could be financially stable but some teenagers don't or some people don't have that stability financially so having a baby is a huge huge dip into your finance funds and everything like that but if you have the money then yeah it's not an issue in that behalf and also having a baby takes up so much space oh my gosh like I've filmed a room tour and the amount of people that are like you've got too much furniture all this like malarkey or your room looks too crowded like yeah I completely agree with you I do not disagree one bit yes it's crowded yes there's too much stuff in here but the thing is me personally I'm planning on moving out in a year obviously so I'm getting all the furniture ready so that me and Oscar have the majority of our furniture here so that when we move our rooms are kind of already ready so we don't need to wait for anything to be delivered and then put it up so all of our stuff is kind of ready to be moved but having a baby takes up a lot of furniture like you don't you don't particularly need a wardrobe for them you don't need a, a chest of drawers set for them you don't need anything like that but you do need room and you do need space because a cot is quite big like you need toys like you need to plan where they're gonna go you need you need a place to put their clothes and if you have a big enough wardrobe you can just put them into your wardrobe and it's not an issue like before I got Oscar's wardrobe I was literally just collecting all his clothes in my wardrobe like it wasn't an issue but then as I got towards the end of my pregnancy kind of I did buy so much for him and it, you do you do you want to spoil your kids you want to because you get into the nesting phase and you want to just get everything you see for them and you want to make them the happiest baby alive so you do splurge a little bit and for me personally I splurged a bit too much so I had I had no other choice but to get another wardrobe for him but having a baby does take up a lot of room of a, lo a lot of room and for me personally we don't have a spare bedroom or anything so I couldn't transform that into his room so he had to kind of live in my room but obviously when we move out there'll be different a complete different case but especially being this young and having to live under your parents roof it's not fair to put the pressure on them and then the last thing I want to talk about is that you look at life on a whole nother perspective. So for me personally, this has changed a lot. Like I never used to stay up to date with the news or anything like that. But now I'm constantly on the back of what's happening 24-7 because it just makes you think what what is the world that you're bringing your child into like what is it becoming and right now to be honest i am so hurt by what the world has come into and what i brought my son into but hopefully that will change for the better and everything will be okay but obviously you do get twisted into stuff and you do want to make sure your son or your daughter has the best life possible so you do want to keep up to date and like how to stay safe and all stuff like that but it also makes you cherish life so much more because you've brought a new soul into the world and it's just amazing to watch them grow flourish every single day learn new skills learn new sounds like it's just everything it's just amazing what the human body can do and produce a baby so that's the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed sorry if i rambled on a little bit i enjoy giving these kind of videos so if you like these sort of like advice videos i kind of guess these are then let me know and i've got quite a few that i want to do so if you do like these kind of videos then i'll do more but if you don't then i won't bother because I don't need to do that. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please do subscribe, click the like button. Follow us on all our social medias down below. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye.